Welcome to Gabala. I'm in the foothills of the Caucasus Mountains, an outdoor playground for adventure junkies. I'll be getting my adrenaline fixed this trip, but first, I want to learn more about the fascinating history of this region. My first stop is the village of Chukur Gabala. It's the site of the ancient capital of Caucasian Albania, one of the oldest cities in Azerbaijan. The East Towers was built in 10th century. It was the main entrance of this ancient town. The fortified city was built on top of a hill, protected by rivers in the east and west. This southern entrance's lookout towers were a crucial safeguard from potential attackers. The place we're standing is the most important and valuable site in our history. So this is where our ancestors lived, a Caucasian Albanians. These people, they're supposed to be our great-grandfathers and they lived here 2,500 years ago. Archaeologists have been excavating the ruins here for nearly 100 years. The artifacts they found showed just how advanced Caucasian Albanian civilization really was. In different parts of this territory, we took uh, archaeological excavations and found these uh, tubes. Uh, pipelines, actually, takes back nearly 8th century. These pipelines might have used for two different purposes, a canalization or um, an irrigation system. You can still see remnants of this ancient culture in present-day Gabala. For example, many of the region's culinary traditions date back to antiquity. To learn more, I'm visiting a local restaurant where they make Gabala's famous dasharasi kebab, which literally translates to kebab cooked between stones. This unique technique is said to be 2,000 years old, and not just any stone will do. The lightning makes the stone especially heat resistant. Wow, it's super heavy here. Bu taşı elde etmekten öteri gebelenin sıldırım kayalıklarına gitmeyi lazımdı. Herden olur ki günlerden bunu aktarıp tapmak olmur. Bir gün, iki gün zehd edemezsen tapmak için her taştan da mümkün değil. Chef Elnor walked me through the ancient recipe. First, we cut some lamb tail fat, or guyruk, and placed it on the griddle to render. Then we prepared our local vegetables and seasoned our meat, which was a mix of lamb and beef. A lot? Is that enough? Yeah. So he's saying the fat has rendered, and so now we're going to be able to cook the meat and the vegetables in the fat, which is going to make them really, really flavorful. Finally, the moment of truth. You're going to let me do it? All right, do I put it here? Setting okay. this very heavy stone on top of the meat and vegetables. <laughs> to soak up all the flavor, we added some slices of bread to the grill. Wow. It smells incredible. It smells so good. Chef Elnor says people come from around the world to try his dasharasi kebab. It's a technique that only exists in Gabala. I think my work here is done. I've gotten enough in his way. Thank you so much, chef, for letting me cook with you. Chuksaol, I'm gonna go wait for my food. Soyuk Bulag is one of the few restaurants in the world that cooks dasharasi kebab. Mmm, so tender. Before leaving the region, I had to take in its incredible views. The Caucasus Mountains are a natural border between Asia and Europe formed by the violent collision of tectonic plates 200 million wow. years ago. Look at that view! I want to cover a lot of ground to see as much of the mountain as possible. That's why I'm opting for some faster transportation. Seymour, why is quad biking a great way to see the mountain? Hal-hazırda, ilin en güzel vaxtıdır gezinti üçün. Siz ayaqla gedebilmediz yerlere biz sizi ekibilerle yapabilirik. Siz bizim mühteşem tebeti görebilirsiniz, zövk alabilirsiniz. Bizde sürat var, bizde adrenalin var. We geared up and hit the trails in our off-road buggy, heading up the mountain at Tufandag Mountain Resort. In the winter, these slopes are used for skiing. I let Seymour take the wheel for the more technical bits. What a cool way to see the mountain. It really feels like you're in the middle of nature. You can feel the air, you can, you can see the views. It's an incredible experience. Gabala has been a breath of fresh air, with its spectacular views, rich culture, and even richer cuisine. This cradle of Caucasian history will stay with me long after I've returned back home.